What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Oleksandr Usyk. Get this, Oleksandr Usyk vows the Ukraine return after the heavyweight title defense against Anthony Joshua. It states, and Oleksandr Usyk has said that he will return to the Ukraine following the first defense of his WBA, IBF, and WBO heavyweight title belts against Anthony Joshua in August. And this is what he had to say. He said, quote, my family is not in the Ukraine, but a lot of people I know, a lot of my close friends are inside of the country. I'm in touch with them every day. I am asking them. It's very interesting for me how they're feeling. Are they in a safe place? He said. He also said, I don't want to leave the country forever. I really don't want to leave the country. I want to live there. And right after the fight, I'm preparing. I'm going back to the Ukraine. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> he said, I really didn't want to leave our country. I didn't want to leave our city. He said, at one point, I went to the hospital where soldiers were wounded and getting rehabilitation from war. And they were telling me, asking me to go and fight in boxing, to fight for the country, fight for your pride. And if you're going to go there, you're even going to help more for our country instead of of it being here and fighting inside the country. Let me stop there. If there's any doubt about Alexander Usyk's patriotism, this should tell you everything you need to know. Let's say he goes in there and obliterates Joshua again, knocks him out, stops him, and he goes back to the Ukraine to uh, either fight or just for moral support or both, because, you know, I think him being who he was, I think, you know, he was there for moral support than anything else. Um, you know, on top of all the other real life stuff that's going on with missiles and scuds and shit hitting civilian businesses and buildings and stuff like that. Um, I think that him going back to do that shows you a lot about himself and shows you that, yeah, I'm doing that because I was told and I was asked to. You know, uh, and I'm doing that to make a voice for my country. And hopefully somebody can understand what's going on with the Ukraine. And since I am the world champion, I'm doing the worldly deeds, but I'm also protecting my country as well. See, any prop, any, I can't say anybody else, but a lot of people, if their immediate family wasn't there, they wouldn't want to go back over there. If that makes sense, his wife's not there. His kids are not there. They're in Poland or wherever he's probably training at close to him. They're not in that war. And, you know, he doesn't have to worry about, hey, has my wife's city been bombed or neighborhood been bombed today or anything like that? Because they're there. So for him saying that I'm going back, more than likely, he's going to leave his family in a safe place where he goes back in a dangerous place. So that shows you that nothing changes just because he's defending the belt. Hey, he put it on hold temporarily, but that is, that help assist his war or the things that's happening in his country. And then after that, he goes right back over there to continue what he was doing before he left. That is reverence, people. That is absolutely awesome. And if he does something like that, people around the world will understand, you know, who this man really is, what he really truly in everything that he stands for and the love for God and his country is with him alive in his heart. And it just makes you admire the man even more and more after that. OK, but you guys tell me what you think about Alexander's vow to return to the Ukraine after that, you know, and let me add this also. Most people would like boast and you know, brag and like, hey, yeah, I'm happy this, that, and the other, you know, that's not Usyk. He's not bragging about anything. He's just doing his duty as a champion. Now he's going back to his country to fulfill his duty as a soldier and as a citizen of that country that he loves and supports and protects. Okay, let me drop that in the pot and stir it for you guys. But anyway, you guys, once again, tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.